Rise from your grave. Hello Quakers and welcome to another episode of The Quake Grave. Now today we're going to be going back, time traveling right back to 1996. We've been playing so many maps lately that were released within the past three or four months in, you know, 2016, whatever, that we've forgotten what the show is all about. And that is getting back and playing some nostalgic 1996, 97, that era of Quake maps. So we're finally jumping back in playing one of those maps. What do you say? Let's do it, right? Today's map is called Mines and Mayhem, and this is by Ed Cope. And Ed Cope has been on the show before with his first map. What was it? It's literally called Cope's First. So, yeah, this, I guess, is his second map, and uh, it takes place in some mines. There's uh, some custom models in this one as well, some custom creatures. Uh, one thing to note as well is that if you plan to go play this, the package comes in a pack file. So, when you download it uh, from Injector, you're not going to be able to actually launch it from Quake Injector. What you're going to have to do is actually uh, set the game up in Quake when you launch Quake. So check out the README file to get all the details on that. But without further ado, let's jump into Mines in Mayhem. Well, after a little bit of to-do with setting up this map and actually getting it running, we are finally in Mines and Ma'im. <laughs> That's unfortunate. A little bit of a typo there. It's supposed to be Mines and Mayhem by Scope, a.k.a. Ed Cope, as he's known on the site. We got 18 kills to make, so this is going to be a very tiny one. And uh, no secrets to find. Welcome back to 1996, everybody. So this one also has some custom creatures in it. Like this fine lady up here. And that is three of our 18 already. So, yeah, of course, the start area has definitely got that 1996 feel to it. Definitely nostalgic for it myself. Um, but, you know, when you've <laughs> been playing so many maps released, you know, the past three months or so, and they're all super pretty compared to this, it is, I gotta say, it is sometimes hard to go back. Because sometimes the uh, newer maps do retro better than some of the actual retro maps do. 20 years removed will do that, I suppose. You ain't strong enough. Okay. Let's see if we can become strong enough. Oh, ogre. Good placement of the ogre there. Had no idea he'd be there. Definitely caught me off guard. Pick up some of the shells here from the grunts. Where are we at? 7 out of 18, so we're really, really moving along quick here. Interesting door. I want to see that one more time. That is a really cool door, I have to say, for a 1996 map that is definitely doing something different that I don't see in maps at all. And look how flush he made the textures, too. You can't even tell it's going to open. You just approach and boom. That is really nice. i got to commend him on that one. Oh, enforcers, too, huh? Keep it open, gotta take him out. You guys are down. We got some help there. 9 out of 18. We we're about halfway through. And what are we doing here? What is this thing? Aha! That was a button right there. For anybody needing to know, there is a grenade launcher. No, it's a rocket launcher. Oh, didn't quite make that jump. Let's see if we can make it from here. No, moving way too fast to actually make that. Nope, can't. What is going to be the best way to make this jump? No enemies around at all, it would seem. Make it! Ugh. Okay, we're going to do maybe a little bit of strafe jumping. Didn't make it. Okay, come on. Oh my god! I feel like I had it! Alright, that's okay. We don't really need it. We seem to be doing okay with just our trusty boomstick here. Look at this guy. Sort of an Easter Island statue thing going on there. Another one on the other side. They almost look like they should be shooting lasers, right? She's gonna be shooting something, I think, pretty soon here? Maybe not. Okay. Just in time to grab five shells, which is not much. 
Oh, she did not see me, but she's kind of skating around <laughs> over there. Oh, there is something to shoot up here. Passage has opened. What passage? Okay, that was a waste of shells. It opened and then immediately closed. <laughs> okay. Hey! Just on a whim, look at that. There is a secret nail gun back there. Oh, there we go, I made it. What's up, Scrape? Oh, jeez. Is it just one of you? It is just one of you. Well, that's not too tough. I can deal with that. Oh, no, there is another one. Okay. There you are. Let's keep moving on here. Oh, damn! Wow, she did some damage to me right there. Whew. I wonder if there's any way to get back down to where that other <laughs> piece of health was. Oh, we got a grenade launcher, secretly. I was looking for health. But I guess I'll take that, too. What would that bring us up to? 13 out of 18. There we go. Didn't think there'd be a way to come back down, but alas, there is. Let's head back up. We're up to 38, which is not much, but it's something, right? A passage has opened. So it keeps telling me a passage has opened, but I don't know what it's talking about. Is that what it's talking about? Are these elevators that go up? I could have swore when I ki was killing that ogre, I saw something move up there. Yeah, it did. Okay. So the passage that's opening is up there. But how the hell do you get up there? That's the question. Oh, there was health on the sides here. How did I miss that? Alright, we still got four enemies to find. But I am at a real loss as to where I'm supposed to go. Are these... Nope. Wouldn't seem that way. No, nope, darkness does not reveal anything there. And nothing here. Hmm. I am, as I said, at a loss as to where to go. There's no way you can really reach those, right? Or am I missing something? Like, those things shoot, it just tells you that those have opened, but there's no real way to get up there. Well, if we go back down, maybe we can go through some of those gates now that we've got up here? I heard a grenade. RC becomes bored with life. What just what just happened? What on earth? What did I, I just that was weird. What on earth was that? A mine. So I threw a mine? Why did I throw a mine? All I did was I, I mouse-wheeled backwards. That's what killed me. Okay, I mouse-wheeled... <laughs> Alright, this is really weird. I mouse-wheeled backwards, and it armed a mine. Watch. But why? What on earth? Huh. Okay. I am... I am at a real loss with that one, I gotta say. It did open. Okay. Oh, and there's some armor back there, too. Again, unfortunate. Doesn't look like there's an easy way to get over to it. Get in the trolley. Okay. Here we go. We're in. And now... <laughs> now what? Huh. 
You're not dead? Dude. I want those nails too, thank you. Okay, I got in the trolley, but nothing happened. And I couldn't help but notice that this trolley actually isn't even connected to this one that's up over here. Just open that door, that's all that was. Can I get through here? More, more secret stuff? Oh, okay, this is just gonna drop me in. Whoa, hey dude! Uh, this way? Yep, and that's the end. Okay, <laughs> okay. That was a very strange map compared to uh, Ed Cope's first map. Which is interesting, because I, I believe this map was supposed to have come out after his first. It's called Cope's First, right? So, I don't know. I feel like this... This was definitely a little bit more ambitious than the other map. The other map was just a straightforward base map, but this one, though ambitious, I mean, it's... I'm not sure what to make of it at times. <laughs> There's definitely some cool stuff going on. I like that he used some custom models and stuff in there. I also like that there's, uh, you know, the, the crazy door that opens the way it opens. I, I like that there's a trap with, a gr with the, with the uh, rocket launcher. But it looks like it just needed a little bit more time to be, a, uh, you know, more thought out, I think. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, this is definitely one that I am glad I played. Because I, I, I definitely want to get through all of the uh, old Quake maps and whatnot. But I don't think that this is one that's going to stand out in my mind. Especially when... You, there, there's a trolley, you figure there's going to be a, a minecart section where the minecart actually works, and it's like, get in the trolley, and you get in it, and nothing happens. So, <laughs> I'm not really, I'm not sure what to make of a lot of this. I don't know, it's really weird. It's a very strange map, but this is what you come to expect from 1996, right? And you load up a map from back then. I mean, this is the kind of thing you're going to get. I, I, I apologize, I'm a little bit mesmerized by this shambler just like, running his ass off here on this platform trying to get to me. So yeah, um, I guess we'll go over it one more time. The pros. I like the, the mine style. I like I like that the trolley was there. I like the crazy door that opens. I like the rocket launcher trap. There's a lot of good little things going on here, but I don't know. The the sum of all the bad, like the, uh, the, the fact that it's a really cramped, really, really small. Rooms are definitely a, a really strange shape at times. Um, and this, this room in particular that you get dumped out to... Um, is, is really weird. You come down here and there's just two dogs and a shambler. What a strange mix that was. And and of course the trolley doesn't work, so yeah, I don't know. This one's very eh to me, but hey, I don't know. I, maybe uh, you guys are nostalgic for uh, an old 1996 map that has this kind of weird stuff in it, so if so, definitely give it a shot. Until next time, Quakers. Be sure to check out all of my other Quake Grave episodes or jump into the GGRC show that I've been doing. I think you'll like it.